Hello everybody. In this video we're going to be looking at clouds and specifically how they are formed and also to be able to identify the different types of clouds. So although clouds look like they might be gas, they are in fact not. They are little tiny droplets of water that are found in our atmosphere. Clouds are formed when the sun hits any surface body of water, like the sea, a lake or a river. This evaporates, and the hot air will gradually cause this evaporated water vapour to rise up within the atmosphere. As the air rises, it begins to cool, because typically we lose about 1 degree centigrade every 100 metres we gain in elevation. The water vapour begins to cool and then condenses onto tiny little particles floating in the air. These can be pollen, dust, or even pollution particles. These particles are called condensation nuclei and they provide the surface for the water vapour to condense onto. When enough water vapour has condensed onto a surface of a particle, tiny cloud droplets are formed. Now these are typically very light, but because there are so many of them together, then in total they can weigh hundreds of tonnes. Clouds float because firstly the particles are very widely spread and secondly because the warm air that is still rising underneath the clouds keeps them afloat. When a high concentration of cloud droplets condense onto the surface particles, this can then become very very heavy uh, and heavy enough for it to fall as rain. A typical cloud related question that I hear all the time is why are clouds white? Well, this is because light hits the water droplets in all the colours of the rainbow. But the cloud then scatter this light, and to us, therefore, it appears like white light. Grey clouds, on the other hand, have this colour because they are so thick with water droplets that sunlight cannot pass through them, giving them the grey, ominous looking colour. Now, if you look into the sky, you may see different types of clouds. However, these clouds fall into three main categories or types. Firstly, we have stratus clouds. These are spread out like blankets to cover most of the sky. They tend to have a uniform colour, like a white or a grey, and typical, typically there is uh, little or no precipitation from this type of cloud. They are low clouds and typically sit below 2,000 metres in the atmosphere. The second type of cloud we have are cumulus clouds. These are the stereotypical clouds of the sky, and when you imagine clouds, you usually think of these. They normally form from fluffy individually shaped clouds with a flat bottom or base. These clouds also sit quite low in the atmosphere at about 2000 meters, and they are the most common cloud type. They usually indicate clear weather but on occasion can bring short showers of rain. Lastly, we have a type of cloud called cirrus. This actually comes from an old Latin word meaning curl of hair. These clouds form very high in the atmosphere, about 7,000 meters, and they are wispy white in color. They are so high in the atmosphere that they are made up of ice crystals, and the sunlight passes right through them, so they're normally quite hard to see. They usually indicate fair weather with no precipitation. When describing clouds, we often make combination of cloud characteristics. And for example, if we add the word alto before three previously mentioned cloud types, we're indicating that this cloud is now found in the middle part of our atmosphere. For example, an alto cumulus cloud we found around 3000 meters and will typically be a bit smaller than the previous um, aforementioned cumulus cloud. Another word we can include with clouds is the word nimbus. This is attached to a cloud that produces rain, snow, hail or sleet. For example, a cumulus nimbus is a large grey flat bottom cloud uh, that sits low in our atmosphere and from which you get large storms. Here are some other combinations we could have. Alto cumulus, which we've described before, 
Altostratus, which is a blanket covering cloud found in the middle atmosphere. Cirrocumulus are very high up fluffy clouds that are very hard to see. Cirrostratus are very wispy high lying clouds that cover the whole sky. And stratocumulus, which are, are your typical winter clouds, which are low lying and rolling. And as we've discussed before, the most typical combination of cloud name would include the word nimbus or nimbo. Any cloud with the word nimbo, such as cumulonimbus, would be a rain cloud, and you will get some form of precipitation from it. Clouds play a very important role in the water cycle, and without them, it would be impossible. Water evaporates from all bodies of water, it rises and begins to cool, it reaches the dew point, and condenses onto particles forming clouds. And then, when these particles join together and become too heavy, they form in the form of precipitation, such as rain or snow. This is then repeated and ensures that the water cycle continues. Looking at clouds makes it very possible for us to predict the weather. Such as cumulus clouds normally bring good weather. Altostratus clouds means usually rain or snow. And nimbostratus clouds tend to be uh, have or tend to have quite a high chance of precipitation. I hope you found this video informative and you have learned a lot about clouds. Thank you very much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this content, please like the video. Or if you'd like to see more of this in the future, please subscribe. I hope you have a very great day.